Okay, so we're, we're still talking about who, why, and what. What I want to show you here is, uh, this is our February events board, okay? And these events, okay, are not only promoted by the front desk, email campaigns, website, etc. also the head instructor. The head instructor has to know every single detail of all of these events, and these events ultimately will be successful based on the head instructor. That's the person that, sh that should be promoting all the events. So what do we have going on? Weapons days, okay? We have some weapons days. So an easy way to promote weapons days would be you know, showing uh, the students using some weapons in their class, talking to the parents in the parent area about it, always you know, sending email campaigns, and explain to them uh, the benefits of using weapons. Coordination, okay? The history of weapons, okay? Uh, the Japanese bow staff, okay, was used for farming, okay? The Chinese bow staff was used for war. The history of that stuff, that's very important, okay? Uh, what else we have? We have couples uh, training, uh, couples training, bring a buddy day for kickboxers, you know, promoting that in all the classes, to go on and talking to the people. All right, and saying, you know, bring your husband, bring your wife, bring your girlfriend, okay, bring your boyfriend, whatever, okay? Extreme dodgeball fun night, all right, a really, obviously, a good night for the younger kids, so you want to make sure that you're promoting that, talking about it, maybe have a dodgeball game, you know, getting interaction with the parents, bring the parents out, play dodgeball with them at the end of one of your classes, kids versus the parents, dodgeball, you have to be creative, okay? Uh, review week, see that we even put on here, like, so the students know what's coming up. Strut week, when it is, okay? And here's our sign-up sheets for rank advancement camp, where you have one person signed up. It just went up yesterday. When our buck graduation is, all right, everything's right here. So that's pretty much you know, your events. So it's your job as head instructor to let everybody know, to promote them, all right, to be there for them as well. All right, and as also, this is a key tip for you too. The head instructor, I've, I've, you know, I've groomed a whole bunch of them. Some of them, you know, they really sometimes have a challenge with telling the rest of their staff underneath of them that they need to be at these events, okay? It's not an option. You don't ask them. You don't say, like, you know, do you think you can come to the Black Book Extravaganza? All right? Uh, or, you know, you know, listen, we're having a family night. Or we're having this type of night. Younger staff, when they are hired, when you're training them, you tell them that they're coming. All right? Why are they coming? They're, co they're coming to learn how to be a leader. They're coming to learn how eventually so they could do it. So you don't ask them to come. You tell them that they need to be involved with this. And that comes down to having, like, little weekly meetings, okay, every week. So not, you're not waiting until the last second, then calling them. So having a weekly meeting about all the events, okay, on a Monday, telling them about it, and making them come to these events, all right, barbecues, anything to do with the school, all your staff should be there, okay. So and then when you find a staff that doesn't come to them, or they can't, or they're not, they have excuses and things like that, they're the ones you want to weed out, okay, and, and train your next group to come in to do that. So that's really important. So here's some key tips for uh, instructors.